station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Isidro Reyna. This week, a cargo spacecraft launched to the International Space Station. Northrop Grumman's 11th contracted cargo resupply mission with NASA launched to the station on April 17th from the Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. With its arrival two days later, Cygnus spacecraft delivered about 7,600 pounds of science and research, crew supplies, and vehicle hardware to the orbital laboratory and its crew. Payloads include a thermal amine scrubber that will test a new method to remove carbon dioxide on board the station, a vital technology for future deep space missions like our return to the moon. New experiments arriving to the station on Cygnus will challenge and inspire future scientists and explorers. One highlight is the vascular aging investigation, which will test the relationship among crew members' metabolism, aging arteries, and aging bones. Astronauts show accelerated arterial stiffening, thicker artery walls, and signs associated with the development of insulin resistance after spending six months in space. This dramatic change in carotid artery aging was unrecognized until recently. The results of this study could have great importance for assessing a newly identified risk for astronaut cardiovascular health and teach us how to keep them healthy. NASA and its space station partners have set new flight schedules and crew assignments. The new crew assignments will include the first flight of NASA astronaut Jessica Muir and a record-setting flight for NASA astronaut Christina Cook. Cook, who arrived at the station March 14th, is scheduled to remain in orbit until February of 2020. She will set a record for the longest single spaceflight by a woman, eclipsing the record of 288 days set by Peggy Whitson in 2017. It's my honor to follow in Peggy's footsteps. Peggy has been a mentor and a heroine of mine for many, many years. I don't necessarily uh, count days or numbers, it's definitely a lot, uh, very early in the process to start talking about records, but um, I just really take it one day at a time. Mir is scheduled to launch this station in the fall of 2020. Also, NASA astronaut Andrew Morgan, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Skortsov are scheduled to launch the station this summer. Morgan also will complete an extended mission in space. The extended missions will help scientists gather additional data about the effects of long-duration human spaceflight beyond those of the normal six-month station expedition. Keep sending in your questions using the hashtag Spacetogram. We'll see you next week.